Hi, welcome to Movie City Recap Channel. Our movie today is about Tess McGill, an ambitious working class woman from Staten Island. Tess owned a bachelor's degree in business she obtained by taking evening classes. She works as a stockbroker's secretary in Lower Manhattan. Tess has a hope to reach an executive position. Mr. Jekyll? But unfortunately, she is treated like a bimbo by her boss and male co workers. At the same time, she is useful for them through her intelligence and business capabilities. Tess got bored with her boss due to his treating. Tess quits the job. She starts looking for another job, finding a job as an administrative assistant to Catherine Parker, a partner in mergers and acquisitions. No sugar, that. Tess works supportively to Catherine as a fellow female professional. Catherine observed Tess' passion for work and her talents. She encourages Tess to share ideas and work. This department, I just love those little Tess suggests an idea for a merger between Trask Industries and a radio station. Oh, it's TV. Good. Catherine looks interested by Tess' idea, but eventually she told Tess that it wouldn't work out. God, watch me, Tess. Learn from me. While Catherine doing skiing, she got injured in her leg. She asked Tess to house sit. Easy with the leg. Tess discovered some meeting notes showing that Catherine plans to pass off the merger idea as her own. Tess decides to use her boss absence. She took Catherine place and move ahead with her merger plans. Hello, Mr. Trainer. Oh, Tess McGill calling. Mr. Trainer. She schedules a meeting with Jack Trainer, a mergers and acquisitions partner from another company. Tess okay. obtains a help from her friend CYNs. She cuts her hair to look more professional. Also, she used Catherine's closet for more stylish clothing as a leader businesswoman. No. At the meeting with Trainer and his associates, Tess feels unconfident. She leaves believing that the meeting was disappointing. Jack arrives at her office and wants to move forward with her idea. Jack quickly secures a radio network acquisition for Trask Industries. Tess attempts to meet with the Trask CEO, Orrin Trask, on her own. She plans to meet with him while crashing his daughter's wedding. Despite Jack's doubts, Tess did her best using her charm and talents secures Trask's interest in the merger. Jack and Tess become closer as they work together preparing the financials for the merger proposal. Tess wants to tell Jack about her feelings, but she hesitates when she discovers that Jack is in relation with Catherine, who is going to break up with her before her injury. They will finish the merger today. Catherine returned home. While Tess is helping her get settled, Jack arrives to end things with Catherine. I meant what I said, I really she wants Jack to offer her a marriage propose. He ends the conversation and runs to the merger meeting. Catherine discovered what Tess is doing when she found Tess' appointment book that she forgot in Catherine's apartment before leaving for the meeting. Catherine entered the meeting showing the fact that Tess is her secretary. Not. Accusing her of having stolen the idea. Tess begins to complain, but nobody believed her. Believe me, I'm sorry. Then she leaves. The same in the Days later, Tess getting ready to leave her job. She stumbles into Jack, Catherine, and Trask at the lobby elevators. Let's get upstairs. A showdown between Catherine and Tess. Jack supports Tess. I'm sorry, Catherine. Tess reveals that she discovered a hole in the deal. Trask leaves Catherine in elevator, and hears Tess' clarification about how she came up with the merger idea. <laughs> then Trask asked Catherine about the merger idea, but she was unable to explain where she got it. You are insinuating, if I were you, then take a long land. Trask becomes sure that Tess is telling the truth, promising Catherine to fire her due to her actions. Trask offers Tess a job with Trask Industries, and she accepts. Yes, sir. <laughs> Later, Tess arrives to receive her new job at Trask. She entered the office where she meets Alice. Tess starts talking to Alice, thinking that Alice is her new boss. Alice said there's misunderstanding I am your secretary. Tess smiled, telling Alice that they will work together as colleagues. I expect you to call me Tess. I don't expect you to be coffee unless we go along, okay? She then calls CYN from her own office telling Guess where I am. Let the beach of the moon.